Hello everyone and welcome back to my video blog. Uh, today I have here Dave Brown, the Vice President of Cutters Landing, a regional mortgage banker that I have been working for many years. So since uh, pretty much the election until now, the interest rate has uh, jumped up quite a bit. And uh, a lot of you have asked and say, hey, what's going on for next year you know, about the housing market with the mortgage rate higher? So I have some good news for you that you know Dave will share with you. And I'm going to share with you something from the Wall Street Journal and something I'm going to read. Uh, you can read the, uh, the the title here, hopefully. Home price can bear higher rates. Okay, and this article is November 30th of this year, so it's very recent. All right. So Dave, uh, as I just mentioned, uh, the mortgage rate has jumped up, right? And a lot of people are concerned and say, hey, how about the mar housing market will bear this kind of uh, higher rate? Uh, I absolutely think it will. Um, you know, since the election, the rates have gone up about a half a point, and uh, that's caused uh, a few people to be nervous. And the the outlook for next year is that rates are probably going to continue to go up a bit. Mm -hmm. And the Federal Reserve actually bumped them a quarter point today, and everyone was expecting that. That was baked into everything, so it didn't really impact uh, the rates. But there's a couple strategies that uh, you know a good realtor and a good lender can help you. Uh, employer to mitigate this. Um, first of all, uh, a lot of people don't realize that instead of getting a reduction in a sales price, you could take those same dollars and use it to buy down the interest rate. And that will actually have a much greater impact on keeping the payment low than a reduction in the sales price. So that's one strategy. The other strategy is uh, take a look at an adjustable rate mortgage, such as a 7-1 arm. The average term that people keep their loans is right about seven years. So I say, why keep or pay for a 30-year fixed rate if you're not going to keep it for all 30 years? And the seven one-arm rates today are about where the fixed rates were prior to the election. So you can keep your payment the same. And if you combine those two strategies, then you can really do a good job of keeping your payment low. And lastly, the Mortgage Bankers Association has predicted we're actually going to see more purchase transactions in 2017 than we did in 2016. So I think 2017 is going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year to buy. And if you're working with a professional like Sean, then there's no need to worry about uh, you know what the interest rates are doing. Well, what Dave mentioned to me is because I've been in business for a long time. Uh, we're going back to the 90s, the 80s, uh, when we negotiate with the seller. Yeah, we, we have, you know, asked the seller to uh, help and buy down the rate. So if you stayed on home for, you know, five to seven years, you know, with a low, lower payment, actually you save more than, than just reducing on the price. So it's absolutely right. And then personally, um, for the first the, the part of uh, uh, the 1990 uh, and also the little part of the 1980, um, my own mortgage, was a adjustable rate and I didn't change it to a, a fixed rate until 2004 and then now you know I mean it's, it's fixed because you know we, we have to fix but you know I mean it's a great rate I save a, that one I calculate I would say a lot of money because uh, um, the rate was at the 9% and my, uh, my adjustable rate was a 7% and I calculate all along and say I left all the way to the bank. I've never had a fixed rate mortgage on any of my homes, and I've owned several homes, uh, investment properties. I've always taken adjustables. I've always gone back and done the math, and I've always come out ahead by taking the adjustable. Mm -hmm. And there are even some adjustables that have fixed conversion features that you can convert it to a fixed rate. So there's lots of advantages and lots of uh, opportunities out there, regardless of what the rates are doing. Yeah, I agree totally. You know, our neighbor in Canada in the north, I mean, uh, they don't have a... Uh, fixed rate, they are all adjustable rate. And then the market in Canada, ask your friend in either in the Toronto or Mon Montreal or the Vancouver area, I mean, the housing market are, are, are booming. Okay, so they are all adjustable rate. They don't have a fixed rate. Okay, so hey, continue to look up for next next year, 2017. And uh, until next time, uh, both us uh, wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year and a successful 2017. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you.